Hello everyone. In this presentation, I'll be talking about coronavirus analysis using SQL. This presentation has some of the very meaningful data-driven insights that will help us to understand its spread. For this project, we have a coronavirus dataset in CSV format. The columns in the dataset are province, country slash region, latitude, longitude, date, confirm, deaths, and recovered. The database management system used for this project is MySQL. First of all, we have to check the null values present in the dataset. After running the query, based on the analysis, it is evident that there are no null values within the dataset. And if null values are present, update them with zero for all the columns. We have observed that dataset does not contain any null value. However, in the case of null values being present, we would have addressed them using this mentioned query. Next, we have to check the total number of rows in the dataset. Based on the analysis, total number of rows in the table are 78386. Next question is to check the start date and the end date within the dataset. For this, we have used min date and max date function. Next, we have to tell the number of months present in the dataset. For this question, we have used count function. It will count distinct months from date column within the dataset with chart 12. Next, we are asked to find monthly average for confirm, deaths, and recovered. For this, we will use average function for each month of each year. So the next question is to find most frequent value for confirm, deaths, and recovered each month. To answer this, we will use substring index and group concat function, which then is grouped and ordered by a particular month of a particular year. Next, we have to find the minimum values for confirm, deaths, and recovered per year. To answer this question, we have used min function, which then is grouped and ordered by a particular year. Your minimum of confirmed, deaths, and recovered for both years is zero. Similarly, next we have to find the maximum values for confirmed, deaths, and recovered per year. To answer this, we have used max function, which then is grouped and ordered by a particular year. Next question is to find the total number of cases for confirmed, death, and recovered each month. To answer this question, we have used some function which then is grouped and ordered by a particular month of a particular year. Next question is to check how coronavirus is spread out with respect to confirmed case. To answer this, we have used sum, average, variance and standard function as shown. Similarly, next question is to check its spread out with respect to death case per month. So we have used some func same functions as previous question and order and group by a particular month of a particular year. Next, we have to find it spread out with respect to recovered cases. Same functions are used as previous question. Next question is to find country having highest number of confirmed case. To answer this, we will use some function for confirmed column group by country. Based on analysis, US has highest number of confirmed cases, which are 33461982. Next question is to find country with lowest number of death cases. To answer this, we have ranked countries on the basis of the total sum of death cases and after analysis, four countries, Dominica, Kiribati, Marshall Islands and Samoa are put in rank one category as countries with lowest number of death cases, which is zero. Next, we are asked to find top 5 countries having highest recovered case. For this question, we have used some function for recovered column group by country and order by total number of recovered cases. India, Brazil, US, Turkey, Russia are top 5 countries with highest number of recovered COVID cases. After an analysis, COVID dataset using SQL Several insights have been uncovered. 
These insights provide valuable information for understanding the progression and impact of COVID-19 pandemic based on provided data. Thank you.